What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and this time, we are in the tour of DLC, and we're taking a look at some of the chests that you might have missed, and that's right, it's another episode of my hidden chest, you might have missed a guide for new vault hunters. So it's Christmas Eve, and a lot of people are out with their families, they're having a good time, and you guys are all from work and all from school, and you get a little bit of time for rest and relaxation from the otherwise stressful fucking year that you've already had and a lot of people sit there and they look back and they give thanks for a lot of the things that they've done but i've already done that on thanksgiving so i thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a spin on this because i know a lot of you guys know that i'm not really a holiday person i don't really celebrate holidays i'm not really like the type of person that gets really into the holiday spirit so today while i'm showing you where these chests are in the dlc i'm gonna do the top five things that i hate about the holidays. <laughs> so, let's take a look at number five. Number five, the fifth thing I hate about holidays is the lines. There are lines for everything during the holiday. It doesn't matter what the fuck you were doing. Even if you go down to a local Wawa or a 7-Eleven and you're trying to pick up a pack of smokes or some coffee, you're going to stand in a long-ass line, and you're going to stand in a long-ass line for no reason, and a lot of those motherfuckers are going to be coughing, they're going to be wheezing, they're going to have kids running around, and it's just a big pain in the ass. So anything that you want to go do during the holidays is already going to be fucked up because of the massive amount of people that are already out there doing shit that they're trying to get done. So, number five is lines. I hate the fucking lines during the holidays. So you were already out in public, you waited around in line, people pissing you off, and you come home, you want to relax, and it brings us to number four, holiday specials. Every goddamn TV show during the holidays has to play non-stop past old holiday Christmas specials. It doesn't matter if it's a Thanksgiving video or a Christmas episode, they just play it no matter what. And I don't mind holiday episodes, I really don't, but a lot of the holiday episodes usually have some type of morals or a little bit of a deviation from a normal story. So say you're watching like a Simpsons episode and you know you wanna go and check out the Simpsons again and get a nice cheap oh. laugh, but instead they spring a moral on me and I don't really like that because I just want to enjoy the show that I'm watching without it having to deviate just because it's the motherfucking holidays. <laughs> and it's like, it's alright, but it's always during the whole fucking month of December that they play all these holiday specials. And it's like, really? Come on. I can watch these holiday specials during regular time too, so why do you have to shove all the holiday specials in my throat in one whole month? Just please space them out for the whole rest of the year, because I don't mind watching a Christmas episode in July, but you know what? In December, maybe I don't want to watch a Christmas episode every goddamn motherfucking time your show is scheduled to be on. <laughs> so now, we're going to get into number three because we've already waited in line, we've already got home, and and guess what? Now you realize you have to go back out, and this is what makes number five so goddamn unbearable, is the rush. The rush that everybody is in. Traffic, rush hour, bumper to bumper, everybody's pissed off. Nobody wants to be where they are because they got better places to be, and then when they have to wait around and stand in line because everybody else is doing the same goddamn shit that they're doing all at the same time, and everybody's head's like, you know what, my shit is more important to do, I need to get out of here, you guys need to get going on, acting like everybody else doesn't have to be anywhere important, because they're all just standing in line with a bunch of schmucks, no, because everybody has somewhere important to go during the holidays, and it doesn't mean that you're anything special because you have somewhere important to go, because everybody else is in a motherfucking rush, so stop pissing me off, and stop telling me that you're in a rush, and that you have somewhere important to go, because guess what, everybody else in line is in a rush and they have somewhere important to go you're not special motherfucker <laughs> so let's go take a look at big number two this is one of my biggest things that i hate forever is christmas music christmas songs I don't care. It doesn't matter if it's the original songs by like Bing Crosby and shit back in like the 30s and the 40s and 50s, or if it's new artists re-singing old songs. I fucking hate it. I can't stand it and I don't know why. It makes no sense why I hate Christmas music, but I just 
don't I just can't get into it. I can't get into the spirit. I don't want to hear about Silent Night, White Christmases, or your motherfucking jingle balls, because I got a big set of balls for you to jingle right here. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I don't know why. I think it might go back to when I was a kid, and my mom used to blare Christmas music all the time, and it just pounded inside my fucking head all Christmas long. And I fucking, every time I hear it, something just cringes inside of me, and it's like, ah! Turn it off! Turn it off right fucking now, please! <laughs> so before we get to number one, let's take a look at the top five things that I hate. I hate long lines. I hate holiday Christmas specials on TV. I hate the rush that everybody else is in because their rush is more important than yours. And I hate Christmas music. Makes no sense, really does it? But let's talk about the number one thing that I hate about the holidays. I hate once a year fake smile douchebags. And you all know who I'm talking about. These are the people that run around all year long being the biggest assholes, the biggest pricks, the biggest pieces of shit that you've ever seen in your life. And guess what? Today, they're a different person. They're smiling. They're spreading cheer. They're wearing a green sweater that says ho, ho, ho. Motherfucker, you are not jolly. You are a douchebag with a fake smile. And you know what a douchebag with a fake smile is? It's a smiling douchebag. Just because you're trying to be nice for one day out of the year doesn't mean that I should stop looking at you like a douchebag because you're looking down on me because I might be in a little bit of a worse mood because you're around and you're like, oh, it's the holidays. You need to be cheer. No, motherfucker. You are the reason that I have a bad motherfucking attitude right now because the minute you walked in the door, I was like, look at this pretentious blowhard asshole. Get the fuck out of my house. And this also includes the born again once a year church people who never go to church all year long. And then once it hits the holidays, they are the biggest religious motherfuckers you ever seen. They got Jesus all over the house. Never seen a cross in their house before, but when it hits the holidays, there's fucking Jesus all over the house. Now, I'm not against religion. I'm not against people that are religious. If you are religious, you know what? Do you have yourself some fun with your religion? But I hate people that are fake, and this includes the once-a-year douchebag and the once-a-year churchgoer, because guess what? You are not a religious person. You are a fake. You are a fraud. You are everything that's wrong with this motherfucking world. You know what? I hope you guys have a happy holidays. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the fuck that you celebrate out there. I don't care if it's Festivus. A Festivus for the rest of us. The feats of strength. <laughs> if you get that reference, you are fucking awesome. Like I said, I have nothing against religion, so go ahead and get your Christmas mask on. I have nothing against, you know, your holiday. Go ahead and get your presents on. Get your eggnog on. Put your sweater on. But if you're a once-a-year fake douchebag, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> My name's Jay. More than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'm going to see you guys later.